In a gentle way you can shake the world. Mahatma Gandhi We are in a constant state of creating. That is what we do here on this earth, whether we are aware of it or not. And by not understanding this we have made a mess of our world. It is not a matter of having to believe in something paranormal or pseudoscience, to make a difference, but simply understand how energy works. Everything is energy. We don't know what energy is, but it cannot be created and it cannot be destroyed, it just changes form. Our thoughts are energy. By holding a thought and clarifying it in our minds we are shaping energy and giving it form. Because we cannot see our thoughts and ideas, we dismiss the power that we have in the creation process. Our minds are so powerful and we have so little knowledge of that. I think that our world is evidence that we don't understand how it reflects the lack of control we have over our thoughts. Why does the universe bring us more of what we don't want? Because we are so strongly focused on it. When we focus our attention on what we don't want, we are giving it energy. It sounds too easy to say, just focus on what you want to see in the world, and I am not saying that it is easy because I know firsthand, in my own life, I had to learn how to do this. Controlling our thoughts and our minds is hard work. When Gandhi said that we could change the world in a gentle way, he knew that we have more power in visualizing the positive than resisting the negative. When you resist something it persists. You are feeding that energy. I would like to share my personal experience that taught me this lesson. I bought a condo, and for six years I had nothing but escalating problems with the neighbors. It was so bad that I was totally broken and could not take any more. No matter what I did to resist it, it just made things worse for me. I know that I am responsible for everything that comes into my life, there are no coincidences and so I also knew that I had to stop resisting what I did not want. I searched and prayed for the answer, and it was actually listening to Abraham Hicks that made me try something that I was not sure would work. Now, let me just say that this does not fix things overnight. My intense focus on what was wrong was so strong that things were really bad. But I started small, I love birds. I began to put my attention on the sparrows that came to my doorstep, and I would feed them every morning. I would get up every morning and look outside and visualize what I wanted and where I wanted to be, and I would feel the beauty and calmness and peace. During times when I was physically exposed to what I did not want, I slipped in earbuds and drowned out the unwanted and replaced it with peaceful bird sounds, fountains and nature. I learned how to recognize the very moment that I slipped back into the negative moment, and I could choose to stay there and suffer or turn my attention to something that pleased me. That took me a long time to train my mind in. Until now, I had tried several times in the past to sell my condo. My plan was to move to Vancouver Island to be closer to my granddaughters, but each time some obstacle would prevent it. But this time I felt different, things felt different in my world, more positive and moving forward. I listed my condo and I had more showings than I have ever had. I began to make plans for moving which meant I needed to find an apartment. I had big requests for the universe. I wanted a beautiful apartment that was close to the ocean, top floor, quiet, and had a beautiful balcony for lots of flowers. I also want to mention here that I had a vivid dream one night, of being in an apartment where my mom's paintings hung on the walls, and they became the walls, and the walls were 3D living trees and water. I had sent out lots of emails to prospective rental units with no luck, but one Saturday morning, as I sat on the couch with my cup of coffee, I had a nudge, a strong feeling to open the rental app even though the day before there was nothing new. To my surprise there was a new listing and it boasted, top floor, facing the ocean, I decided to phone instead of sending an email. Today I am living in that very same apartment. I am on the top floor and my living room windows are huge, and I can see tall trees, and a view spans across my room like a living wall of green. On the other side of me is the ocean, and all I need to do is step outside on the rooftop to see it. My balcony is a paradise of flowers and I have hummingbirds that I feed now. There is no order of difficulty in miracles. One is not harder or bigger than another. They are all the same. All expressions of love are maximal. Principles of miracles, a course in miracles. When we think positive thoughts we see good things and we feel good, and they attract more good things and good feelings. It is the law of attraction. The entire universe is in a state of vibration, and each thing generates its own frequency. Human beings vibrate. The hidden messages in water, Masaru Emoto. Imagine, if we can change things on a small scale, such as our own daily lives, then we also have the ability to have the same effect on a larger scale. 
How do I begin? 1. Start by visualizing peace and calm, and we look for it in your life by noticing examples of it. Each time we do we attract more of it to us. 2. By understanding that what we resist persists, we choose our thoughts and what we focus on carefully we learn how to take control of our minds. 3. Be a ripple. Our thoughts and ideas are not made in isolation. We are connected and just like negative thoughts can spread like a virus, so can positive thoughts and prayers be the ripples that reach and touch everything in the universe. The most powerful of vibrations are appreciation, gratefulness, and love. I leave you today with a final quote. I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. Mother Teresa Begin by practicing these three small things every day, and I promise you your life will begin to reshape itself and you will be one of the many ripples. High vibes always.